Jonathan, I want to use an ohmmeter to see if it would be possible to check the isolation resistance between the gauge and the substrate. Could you show me how that would work? By all means, Larry. Let me put the probe, one probe from the digital voltmeter, which you're buying in a hardware store. We've set it to an ohm, ohm reading. We, we're going to place the other probe on our base plate where the gauge is mounted, and we can measure that as it's off scale. It's reading off scale, and the range of measurement is in mega ohms. So if I touch the probes together here, we can see that it goes to 0.1 or basically 0 ohms. There's a short circuit between the probes. So I am measuring that over there. Ground looks to be open, which seems to appear to be uh, a, good, a good reading. However, if I take the standard strain gauge tester, which is made by measurements group, we have the 1300 gauge tester where we have the two leads. The one lead I'm going to attach to the electrical circuit. Here we have it. And the other, the other one I'm going to, the, the ground lead, I'm going to attach to the base plate where the gauge is mounted. And we, all we have to do is press the button here. And we see that we are also off scale, which looks good. But the difference between this meter and the, the general meter that you buy from the hardware store is that here we are reading a value which is at, at the full scale is equal to 20 gig ohm, which is 20 times 10 to the 9 ohms. But more importantly, we are driving this, the current that is going through the system, we're driving it with a 15 volt excitation. Whereas with an ohm meter that you have here, we are actually driving it with something of the order of 9 volts or maybe less. So it's not the same animal. And here we are reading actually microamps that, that will migrate from the electrical circuit, particularly when you put coating on the, on the gauge and you haven't cleaned sufficiently the, any flux that is touch, it, associated with with putting, uh, soldering the, the wires to the gauge. And if you, if you happen to touch your finger on the, on, the, on the system before you seal it, you will find that you're also going to get some leakage to ground.